So with your axles, you should cut them down to a length specific to your car. If you leave the axles at full length, some of you might find that your axle is quite a bit wider than the body of your car, so it's gonna wiggle a little bit, which is gonna cause some additional friction, slowing your car down some. So what I've done here is I have measured out and marked my axle, so this is how long it needs to be, and that's how much I'm getting rid of. I'm currently at the clamp that's over in the very back of the lab. So this is the door that leads out the lab that we go through in a fire drill. We We've got the big garage door. This is where we're at. So over here at this clamp, we have a specific saw, and this is what we're going to use to go ahead and cut our axles. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a little hard for me to do this one-handed. I usually use my other hand to brace the vise so that it doesn't wiggle or move, but you're just gonna go ahead and use that saw. I recommend going in one direction a couple of times just to create your starting groove, and then you're gonna be able to go back and forth actually sawing through your axle. The aluminum axles will cut easier than steel, so if you've got a steel axle, do expect to be over here for a minute, and you will then have to do this with both of your axles, so plan for that. When you are done, once you've cut all the way through your axle, please make sure that you take those little end pieces and get them into the trash can. Do not just leave a whole bunch of end pieces over here for someone else to pick up. So you can see, I gotta have my groove started, and I'm now just working on sawing through. A little bit of downward force is all you need. Right there, my axle did slip a little bit, so I need to adjust my vise, but you can see that it is starting to go ahead and cut through. So I would just stay at that for a minute until it's fully through the axle.